the ending of Star Wars Rebels, Ezra makes a bold decision to use the Purgil to jump himself, Thrawn, and the Chimera to an unknown destination to another galaxy. This act of self-sacrifice and bravery leaves the fates of both Ezra and Thrawn shrouded in mystery. However, Thrawn's fate takes a twist as he is beginning to emerge from his cosmic exile with an ambitious plan to return to the familiar Star Wars galaxy. Thrawn's return was only made possible thanks to Sabine making a deal with the Devil, which was handing over the map that would locate Grand Admiral Thrawn, but also, her lost friend Ezra. Now that Thrawn and his allies have reunited on an unknown planet, his return carries a grave threat to the galaxy under the control of the New Republic. Today's video will discuss what Thrawn's ultimate plan will be when he returns to the galaxy. The main theory will argue that at the heart of Thrawn's comeback and to destroy the New Republic lies with the legendary Katana fleet. Once Thrawn returns to our galaxy, he will be a fleet to take over the galaxy. I believe Thrawn will locate the Katana fleet. The Katana fleet is a lost armada of advanced warships, Thrawn would locate the Katana fleet and utilize its formidable power to not only challenge, but potentially restore the Galactic Empire's dominion over the galaxy. These advanced warships, with their technological prowess and fearsome armaments, occupy a unique place in the annals of Star Wars lore. The Katana fleet's disappearance from the galaxy's collective memory was shrouded in tragedy, a consequence of a catastrophic navigation computer glitch during a hyperspace jump. It is precisely this ill-fated incident that makes the Katana fleet such an enticing and perilous prize. The Katana fleet, as described in the Star Wars Expanded Universe, now known as Star Wars Legends, consisted of approximately 200 advanced warships known as Katana-class dreadnoughts. These dreadnoughts were large and formidable capital ships, each equipped with advanced weaponry and technology. The Katana fleet's significance transcends the realm of mere starships, it embodies an epic of military innovation and strategic supremacy. These warships are equipped with state-of-the-art technology that eclipses even the most advanced vessels of the New Republic. Their formidable attributes include cutting-edge faster-than-light weaponry, impenetrable shield systems, and intricate automation that rivals sentient crews. The sheer size and technological superiority of the Katana fleet are unparalleled, making it a potential game-changer in the ongoing conflict between the New Republic and those who seek the Empire's resurgence. With the Katana fleet under his command, Thrawn possesses a weapon of unimaginable destructive potential. The fleet's advanced technology and Thrawn's tactical genius create a lethal combination that could decimate entire star systems and reshape the balance of power in the galaxy. The New Republic, still fragile and reeling from the Empire's fall, would find itself ill-equipped to withstand the onslaught of such a formidable force. As Thrawn returns from the depths of the unknown galaxy with the specter of the Katana fleet looming large, the galaxy finds itself on the precipice of a seismic shift in the balance of power. The fleet's unparalleled power and Thrawn's unmatched tactical brilliance set the stage for a potential resurgence of the Empire. In this complex and thrilling narrative within the Star Wars universe, the stakes are nothing less than the fate of the galaxy itself. Thrawn's quest to locate the Katana fleet is not merely a strategic endeavor, it is a symbol of the enduring legacy and timeless allure of Star Wars, where empires rise and fall, and the battle for the stars continues unabated. 